Well, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Daniel. Today's video, we're going to be talking about I meditated every day at night for 30 days straight. And I'm going to be talking about how meditation changed my life. How when you combine that with semen retention, it's extremely powerful. And just how my views on life changed. So I started meditating every day because... I couldn't focus and get my thoughts together, so I started meditating. When I started meditating, I started slowing life down. Life starts to slow down. You realize just how much time you truly have when you start meditating. Meditating every night helped me realize there's no excuse, man. You have enough time. There's no excuse to put up with behavior from other people, man. And I would say a major thing it helped me realize your mind is where you live. When you meditate, you're basically cleaning out your mind so your thoughts will be more concise. Your mood will be maybe more happier, more calm. Things won't bother you as much. You'll be able to focus more. And overall, meditation just helps you raise your vibration. With me, a big thing or a big issue I had on simmer retention was that, you know, the days just fly by, which nothing's wrong with days flying by, but sometimes it's good for you to sit and just sit in the moment, reflect on how the day went, you know? That's what meditation helps you do. It helps you reflect on how the day went. I learned a couple of things. Like, when you don't meditate and you just... You go to sleep. Your dreams aren't the same. My dreams were very, very vivid when I meditated before I went to sleep. Everything in my dreams, the thoughts I was having were very concise. I, I understood where I was at, what was going on, but I was not aware that I was dreaming. My actions were my actions, but I was not aware that I was dreaming. My dreams were very clear, okay? People that do not meditate may have clear dreams, but when you start meditating every day before you go to sleep, your dreams become very clear. And overall, man, it just you you might talk less, okay? Meditation grounds you and it slows life down. You may not fit in with the ruckus of life. Always moving, always on your phone, always on social media, always running and doing something. Because when you start to slow life down and you just sit in your thoughts, You realize what you need. You realize what you lack. You realize how great you are. What you need to work on. What you love. When you're able to sit in your own thoughts, you learn so much about your own body. You learn so much about how you act. And all these things are seemingly valuable in your spiritual journey and in your semen retention journey. Understanding how you act, your behavior, your subconscious is very powerful because people that understand their brain are able to manipulate it to get what they want. If your brain isn't cooperating with you, sometimes you have to force your brain to do things it doesn't want to do. If you don't want to work out, sometimes you have to force yourself to work out. You don't want to go outside your comfort zone. You have to force yourself to. And in part, this is manipulation. Because your brain doesn't want to do certain things. But when you meditate, you're able to slow life down, think things through, and start to understand how your subconscious mind thinks and behaves. 
You should understand that. You are the master of your own life. You are the master of your behavior. You control your actions. You control how you feel. No one else can control how you feel. That's what meditation helped show me, man. When you when I wasn't meditating, the quality of my life went down. And I'm not sure if this is because it was meditation or see my attention, but meditation brings so many great habits with it. It's sort of like NoFap. You may get on NoFap and you may quit watching porn, but you may also start working out. You may also start becoming spiritual. You may lose an addiction. And all these things could help progress you to become the man or woman that you want to be. Meditation for me helps me reflect on how my day went. When I meditate at night, I sit and I think in my, I sit in my thoughts. I slow everything down and I try to come to the present moment. A lot of the time in life, we're always doing something. We always have a stimuli that's affecting how we're thinking. Most of the time, we have something we can watch. We have something we can look at. We have something we can listen to. When you take away those stimuli and all you have left is your thoughts, you're able to understand how you think and how you feel because all you have is your thoughts. Nothing else is affecting them. You can reflect on how your day went, decisions you made, how you can make tomorrow better. You can just take deep breaths. Deep breath, breath work is very important. You can do a little breath work while you meditate. There are a couple ways you can go about meditating. It's two ways that I've done. The first way is you start meditating in a position that you choose with your back not supported with it being completely dark in the room and it's as quiet as you can make it you sit on the floor you begin meditating you take deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth until you feel yourself start to relax you may do this for a couple minutes you can do some hand signs. I I do some hand signs with both my hands or mudras. They affect how my meditation goes. So I may do some hand signs. I may change them. Then after I've done my hand signs, I've did my deep breaths in through my nose and out through my mouth. I try to settle into a nice position where my back is aligned. I'm not leaning forward too much. I'm not leaning back too much. And I try to take some medium breaths in throughout my nose. I focus on taking very deep breaths in and out through my nose and relaxing my face, my body. And after I've gotten into a pretty relaxed state, I'm able to, I'm able to really, really get into my thoughts. Because you're going to be thinking throughout the whole process of meditation. But once you're able to get your body in a good, calm, supported position, you're kind of comfortable. You're able to really, really dial in on what you're thinking about. And that can be very, very powerful because a lot of these thoughts, <clears throat> you don't really have them when you have stimuli around you. Stimuluses can be things like what, you, what you're looking at, what you're listening to. All these different things that affect you can affect how you think. But when you get in that comfortable slash semi-uncomfortable position and you're taking all these deep breaths, you're oxygenating your body, you have nothing to look at. You have nothing to listen to. All you have is your thoughts. You learn a lot about yourself. And on top of that, before you're able to go to sleep, you're able to calm your mind down so that your dreams are much more powerful, vivid, and just 
overall, you just a more calm, cool person, man. All right, I love all of y'all that made it to the end of this video. Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. I love each and every one of y'all. Peace.